Breaking news, the nationwide E. coli outbreak has turned deadly. One person in California has now died as a result of an E. coli infection related to contaminated romaine lettuce. Here in Pittsburgh, a local man was hospitalized last month and blames the lettuce that he had at a local restaurant. He's now suing. Money editor John Delano takes a closer look. The CDC says Pennsylvania has the highest number of E. coli cases from contaminated romaine lettuce in the country. When E. coli gets onto produce, it can come from farm equipment that might have manure on it. It could come from untreated manure. Some of the fields in low-lying areas get water contamination from uh, improper septic removal or things of that nature. When that occurs, it gets on the produce. And when it's on the produce, it's very difficult to remove. Rob Pierce, who represented over 100 people in the Chi Chi's Green Onion Hepatitis epidemic 15 years ago, has the first local lawsuit in Pittsburgh involving E. coli and romaine lettuce. Bethel Park resident Gary Shields says he ate contaminated romaine lettuce at a Panera bread store in McMurray on March 19th. Ten days following, he began to feel worse and worse every day and then was hospitalized on the 29th. Spent five days in the hospital with severe diarrhea, bloody stool, and severe dehydration. After a variety of tests were done, it was confirmed that he had the E. coli bacteria which we have now traced back to him of consuming contaminated lettuce. Shields doesn't blame Panera, but instead is suing Freshway Foods, the distributor of the lettuce. Federal health officials say lettuce from Yuma, Arizona is the culprit, not the romaine from California or other states. No surprise, a number of the major grocery chains that we spoke to here in Pittsburgh are saying they no longer stock romaine lettuce from Yuma, Arizona. But you can still get sick from previously supplied lettuce, says Pierce, and that's the point of Shields' lawsuit. He was so sick and so ill, he really wants to make sure another family does not have to go through what he went through. John Delano, KDKA. KDK reached out to Freshway Foods for a reaction to the lawsuit. No response yet. So how can you tell whether the lettuce you buy at the grocery store is safe to eat? John reports on that coming up at 6.